The acting superintendent of APS no doubt has her hands full with her new job, but she says she can't answer one big question. What's going to happen to Don Moya? I have I, I can't answer that because it's in litigation. So. Moya has been the district's chief financial officer for five years. This month, Luis Valentino put Moya on leave and never said why. You were investigating him. I was I, I was I was starting an investigation, right? And why was that? Person, it's a personal matter. I can't tell you why. Action 7 News obtained emails that show Moya questioned a potential contract with a company in Colorado. He told ex deputy superintendent Jason Martinez. The head of that company had been fired for taking bribes and told Martinez to hold off on the deal. Martinez responded, not your call, Don. The deal is moving forward. Then, August 7th, Valentino meant to send a text message to State Education Secretary Hannah Scandera saying he was going after Moya, but Valentino somehow accidentally sent it to Moya. That same day, he suspended Moya and told him he was under investigation. Disgusting. All of it. I was trying to do the right thing. Moya has since filed a whistleblower protection and civil conspiracy lawsuit against both APS and Scandera. Neither Moya nor his attorneys would comment on Valentino's resignation, but say the lawsuit will proceed. APS would only say that Moya is still on paid leave. Another black eye for APS involves the former deputy superintendent. Jason Martinez posted bond today in Denver and is out of jail. As we told you, he is charged with sexually assaulting young boys, but he was still hired by Valentino because there was no background check. As part of being released from jail, Martinez has to wear a GPS and alcohol monitoring bracelet. He's also not allowed to leave Colorado.